Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Decade Challenge Part 24. And in the last part, Sarah aged up into an adult, and Joseph and Sarah tried for another baby, and Sarah is currently in her second trimester, I assume. And she's going to give birth next part, because that's what I have in the notes. But yeah. In this part, we are going to be aging up Naomi and Nathan, because, like, toddlers are only entertaining for so long. So, Sarah is going to stop her classic painting, and she's going to go cook a cake. So, what kind of cake? Is there any... No, blue confetti cake, I guess. And then, you put this in the garbage. And Nathan is currently outside playing. The children are at school, and the other children are doing their thing. And Joseph is currently harvesting from his garden. I told him to go... Hold on. Did he do this? Ugh. Sims 4. You need to not. Thank you. Yeah, he took it. There was a pile of garbage right there, and so I told him to go deal with that. Also, go get the mail. Because apparently that's the thing, apparently. Naomi, why are you crying? Naomi's dramatic. Okay, but... Oh, Joseph has collected everything from the mailbox. What was in the mailbox? Is this a toy helicopter? Why was there a toy helicopter in our mailbox? Helicopters haven't been invented yet, or have they? I don't know. We're just gonna give that to Nathan, I guess. But we're gonna sell all of our stuff. So we have 19 thousand one hundred eighty seven dollars in reserve Naomi Naomi don't Naomi I'm busy okay but Sarah make your little cake Sarah oh Naomi's responsibility has gone down so add birthday candles Naomi I hate that they do that I hate that they just throw flour and paint on my floors. Um, so help blow out candles, Naomi. Because Naomi's the older one. Ooh, and I'm gonna have to clean that up. Go deal with her. Thank you, Naomi. Naomi! Thank you, Naomi. Okay, so Naomi, you age up. And then add more birthday candles. So Naomi is going to be... Um... Naomi is going to be... Uh... Outgoing. And she's gonna have the social one. Okay, congrats, Naomi. Don't grab a piece. Actually, go clean this up. Caroline sent Naomi a gift. Look for it arriving in the mail soon. Lo Why did Lois send her a gift? Lois doesn't like her. Lois is rude, and she acts like she's better than us. Um, help blow out the candles, Nathan. Come on, Nathan. Nathan, I'm gonna need you to not... I'm gonna need you to not play in our bathroom. And go blow out your candles so you can become a child, and I can give you makeovers. Oh, that's kind of cute for Naomi. Oh, that was kind of cute. And then Nathan, um, I think he's going to be a music lover and uh, creativity. And, okay. So now we have our children. So let me just cast. No, caps lock undo. Cast dot full. Edit mode. And let me just get you to plan your outfits. And perfect. We have our children. Aw, oh, these. We are only gonna have one more child left. And that child hasn't even been born. Oh, so sad. Okay, Naomi. Um. Let me give you some better eyebrows better and I don't know maybe this 
and then obviously some lashes. And then which dress? Well, obviously the one dress we have. But like what color? I kind of wanted to do pink or something. We could do a coral dress and then switch this to where it's like something more matchy. I don't know. I like this, but like she looks a lot like Mary. Um, maybe this. Did she have short hair? Yeah, she's gonna have this. Perfect. And then let's plan her sleepwear, and then that should be it. So let me just take those shoes off, and then your sleepwear can be this. Actually, yeah, this. And do you need anything else we planned? No, because we're not really going to be doing anything formal. And then Nathan, his face looks a little long. That's what I'm noticing off the bat. Um, maybe just, yeah, these, where you look a bit nicer. There you go. And then, what hair? Um, his mouth is also a bit small, but I feel like he might be able to grow into that. Um, maybe this hair? Or this? Like this? No, I like this one. And what outfit? That is the million dollar question. I think maybe like this in like a plain color. Is there one of these that... Okay, I guess the black one. And then... What are these? I have never seen these pants in my life. Um... And then maybe like the same jeans Jasper has. We'll just pretend we have extra an extra pair. And then some Converse, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, and then his sleepwear. It'll be, yeah, this black shirt. Take off these stupid shoes. And these black pants. Perfect! We have our children, Nathan and Naomi. Perfect! And we are out of cast in, like, less than five minutes. I never thought I'd be this proud of myself. I did four outfits. <sighs> But what are we going to do now? Hmm. I think I know what we're going to do. I want Jasper to go hang out with Mary. Because I want him to get with Mary. When they get older. Now, uh, they need to, like, know each other, you know? Because, like, we only have six more parts left. Is that right? Six? Or five? Five after this is done. But, like, six currently. Um, put the cake in the fridge. You go pay the bills. You can go do your homework. You can also go do your homework. And actually, I do need to buy beds. Okay, so you get a new bed. So beds. We're just gonna carve and copy this one. And then carbon copy this, except not in brown. I think she's gonna get like pink or something. Because she's like the girly girl. Yeah. And then, so we'll just carbon copy this. And then sell this. And then it'll be like Caroline. Aww, I miss Caroline. And then you can have like red maybe like is there like a darker red I don't see a darker red so I guess we'll do red and then let me just sell all these toddler toys I guess we'll buy more when the new baby comes I don't really care about the toddler toys we're gonna have to get children stuff though so children that's toddlers so um we can have, we can get the little doctor playset. And then what else can we get? The bubbles. And I guess we can put like a dollhouse 
somewhere. Yeah, this Victorian dollhouse. Oh god, that's big. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to put it, like, outside or somewhere. Um, it can be, like, right here. And then we'll recolor it, because brown is not, not very cute. So, yeah, like this one. We'll just pretend the hot tub isn't there. Actually, is there, like, but the castle has, like, a hot tub, too. Um, anything else? Anything? Anything? Um, yeah, I'm good. That's good. So we have furnace for our children. And what do you want to do? Oh, you're being tutored. Okay. Are you done? No. Okay, but we're just going to fast forward until the other children get home. Because you children don't know anybody. Wow, you know Phoenix. Do you know Phoenix? You do know Phoenix. Yeah, because she was in our house that one time. I remember that. Okay, but come on, children. We're just going to fast forward. Actually, we can also sell this high chair. Because, like, we never use... We have not used that in forever. Did I sell it? Okay, yeah, I sold it. Okay. Now... You two just need to deal with yourselves until Jasper gets home, which he gets home at three, and I assume, yeah, the other do too. Oh, we found Daniel in the bathroom stall today eating a sandwich. This is unexpected, and we're not sure what to make of it, but we figure we should call. Um, that's just wrong, or when you're hungry and need to go. Um, sure. Emo empathy decreased and manner... Empathy increased, manners decreased. I did that because I knew his empathy was struggling a bit, and his manners weren't. So now his empathy is just barely in the red. And I really want his responsibility to go up really, like, high. And, um, I don't really know about her. But I also want his conflict resolution to go really low. Which, I don't know why, because I, I just feel like it would. And then you, I don't really know about you. And then you, I don't know about you either. Um, maybe Naomi. I feel like her empathy wouldn't be really good. Because, like, she's grown up in the 1890s, you know. Oh, I didn't fix her shoes. Oh, that was my bad. I'm gonna have to do that. But, yeah, I didn't fix her shoes. And then, I guess, actually, let me get you, like, the violin or something. Yeah, the violin. I'll get him the violin. And he can play with that. Because I want him to be into music. And I want her, Naomi, to kind of be a hoe. Like, she's gonna... This is my plan for Naomi. I want her to grow up, date multiple men, and be like the town hoe. Like, she'll be in the entertainer career, and it'll be like she's a hooker. I don't know. That was just my thoughts. And him, I kind of want him to get into music. Like, um, Caroline did, but like, with like, the guitar and the violin and not the piano. What are you doing? Stop chatting with your children. Um, can you harvest... Evolve? Just deal with your garden. And Sarah, you're a bit busy, so no, you will not play with dolls. You're going to resume your classic painting, and then somebody I want to play with this doctor playset. Eventually. Maybe, like, the new baby could. Will the new baby age up into a child before that, though? Um, probably not, let's be honest. Um, but what are you doing? You're doing your little garden thing... You're playing with dolls, and you're being a musical prodigy, even though your violin skills aren't that good. But we're just going to take a picture of that, so we have things to look back on when you're, like, a rock star or something. Okay. Perfect. And what about you, Sarah? Is your painting coming along? kind of looks like a squirrel. In a colonial outfit? Should Jasper invite over Billy? No. That's not what I wanted from you. <sighs> I wanted you to invite over Mary. 
Who are these people? Constance, Terrell. Oh, the people that have been stalking us for like this entire LP. What's wrong with you? Stop looking at me from having a mood swing. Sometimes it just feels like you can't do anything right and everyone is judging you. Well, to help with your mood swings, we're going to tease you about your crush. We're going to annoy you. We're going to argue who's better. And we're going to call you names. What is wrong with you? Stop. Stop walking like that. Please, stop walking like that. Amelia. Amelia, please, stop walking like this. Amelia. Amelia, you look... Ugh. Amelia, you look like you have a stick shoved up your butt. Amelia, stop walking like that. <sighs> Amelia. Oh, and I guess Billy just came along anyway. Billy, this is the wrong LP. No, Max, I'm busy. Can you go tease her? Oh. I feel like I'm old enough now that I should be allowed to go anywhere I want to do and whatever. Uh, until you've grown more. Yeah, I want his responsibility to increase. He's almost in the realm for the trait. But come on, Jasper. Go be rude to Amelia. Yo, and she's really insecure about that right now. I want your conflict resolution. Arguing. You need to argue. Uh. His thingy is not full. Let me just argue with her. Come on, start arguing. You can make up later. Start arguing with her. Um, mean. Argue about school. I don't want his empathy to go down. I want his conflict resolution to go down. Oh my god, she's crying! Okay, his conflict resolution's going down. Declaring enemies or despising Sims can help with that. I don't want her to cry. She cried. Poor Amelia, she's already having a bad day, and it's like, this just isn't helping. And then they're just gonna, they're just gonna fight, and argue, and fight. It's so sad. Um, but we're just gonna, mean, we're gonna argue with her again. Argue over who's better. Because Jasper thinks he is. And Amelia knows that she isn't. He's going to call her out. And she's going to be really upset about that. Because, like, she's already having a rough day. Let me just put this over, like, you. Like, she's irritated. I, I'm on Amelia's side in this one, because I think Jasper is literally just fighting to fight. He just wants to start a fight. And he already knows that Amelia is not having a good day, and that she's feeling really insecure about herself. And it's just really not helping. But yeah, we're going to stop for now. And then we're going to travel with Jasper. And we're gonna go somewhere with Mary. I think we're gonna go to like a park, maybe. Or maybe the ruins. We could go to the ruins. Yes, we're gonna go to the ruins. In Windenburg. Because I feel like in Get Together, I never went there. Let's be honest. I went there one time. And there was like a party or whatever, I think. But let's go to Ancient Ruins. Let's go with Jasper. And where is she? Mary Wells. Because I want them to get together. And they'll be really cute. And that's all I know. So, come on. Oh. What's that noise? Does that happen when you go to the ancient ruins? But you are going to build skill, creativity, you are going to 
build skill. Build your social skill. Then you can socialize with Max. You can socialize with Phoenix. You can build your painting skill. And you can socialize with... Because you don't have really any friends. Um, socialize with Chris. Okay, so what are we going to do? There's not much to do with the Ancient Ruins. It's just kind of there. So we're just going to... I guess we're going to go in the Ancient Ruins. Go here together. And, like, I really don't want to have to deal with this hunger, so... Yeah. We're just going to do that. But, yeah, this is Mary Wells. She's she's even in the same dress as Naomi. Yeah, so this is Mary. We're going to friendly, we're going to ask her about her day, we're going to get to know her, we're going to play make-believe. Stop. He wants to argue, and I think he just wants to fight. Like, just to fight. And then talk about school. But, like, he's, like, the bad boy. He's, like, the Max Villarreal. And she's, like, she's kind of like Amelia. Like... She's like Amelia and Caroline and so many of the characters in this series. She's a 21st century girl trapped in the 1890s because she's self-assured. She knows she can do great things. It's just, you know, she doesn't have lots of opportunities in the 1890s. And so she's got to do what she's got to do. But we're just going to talk about favorite animal. But they're kids right now. She doesn't realize this. She'll probably realize this later as a teenager. And I feel like that was probably Amelia. She was probably very insecure about all the actions she has taken thus far. Such as her woohoo in a bush with Max Villarreal, like, the second day after she knew him. On their, like, first... It was, like, their first date. It was an experience. Um... Ask about her day again. And then I want them to cloud gaze, because I think that'll be cute. Now go cloud gaze. I want to get a picture. Okay. Aw. Is he looking at her? No. Like this. Aw. We're gonna pretend that he's looking at her. That's so sweet. Aw. They're just looking at the clouds and making, like, little animals. Aw. That's so cute. These two are really cute. Like, they're obviously not as cute as Phoenix and Daniel. Because I didn't have to do anything to get that. I didn't have to, like, force it or whatever. Like, they knew each other and she was, like, a townie. And she wasn't even an ugly townie. But, like... Oh, my God. Deal with yourselves. I don't want to have to deal with this. Um, especially in, like, these last few parts. Like, I don't want to have to deal with this. I don't want to have to cook. I don't want to have to get you to use the bathroom. I don't want to have to get you to do all these things. I just want you to, like deal with these things. But, like, aw, they're, like, almost friends. Aw, but, yeah. I feel like this is probably the one time they're gonna hang out. They're, like, those friends that are, like, they hung out during, like, the summer. No! Caroline, leave me alone. They're, like, those friends. Mary and Jasper are. Those friends that hung out, like, over the summer or whatever, but then, like, when once school went back, they, like, didn't talk to each other or whatever, but they would ha they'll always have, like, that one summer. And, like, I guess this is that one summer. <laughs> I don't know what that was supposed to mean. But, like, it's kind of like that. Like, you know how in a book or whatever, the, like, protagonist would meet, like, a boy over her summer vacation and then, like, have this, like, whirlwind romance and, like, never talk to him again? Um, yeah, that's them. Except they might talk to each other again. <laughs> because I plan on them getting married. <laughs> it's not bad. But I don't want them to be, like, childhood friends. Like, Finley, not Finley, like, Amelia and Max were, or Daniel and Phoenix. I don't want that. I want them to just... Oh, and she's, like, mischievous. She's, like, just as bad as he is. I love it. She's just as bad as he is. Maybe even worse. She's, like, demolishing, like, property. Like, she's pouring paint on ancient ruins. I love it. These two are precious. 
Like, they're, like, vandalizing ancient, like, Greek ruins or something together. Like, pouring paint and, like, flour and baking soda on it. I love it. Like, these two. They're, like, what Max and Amelia could have been. They're, like, the rebellious couple. Oh, my God. Okay. Daniel and Phoenix, they were, like, the childhood... The childhood friend... No, stop. Don't. Don't clean that up. That makes it less cute. But they're like the childhood friends or whatever. Daniel and Phoenix were. That everybody wants to get together and get married. And Amelia was the good girl that fell for the bad boy. And then Jasper and Mary are like the like rebellious couple. I love it. But we're gonna um, end our group thing and go home. So... Actions... Come on, unfreeze, Sims. Sims. Yes, I know, my timer is done. Sims 4. Sims 4. So disband group, and then we're gonna go home. So, let's go. She's gonna continue, she's gonna, we're gonna pretend she went home too. We went home, and yeah. Aw, but they're so cute. Like, oh, I never thought I'd like them together this much, but I do. They vandalize. That's not at all cute. Don't do that, kids. But, like, they vandalized ruins together in the 1890s. <laughs> like, they're so rebellious. Okay, so pretty much this part, you guessed it. Everybody gets, like, their own little part. This part was basically just about Jasper. And, like, kind of how, like, the Daniel and Amelia have had their last few parts. But, yeah, we're going to end it on Jasper because he's coming home at, like, what time is it? 8 p.m. Aw, we're going to pretend it's later. We're going to pretend it's, like, 10 and he broke curfew for her. But, like, aw, we're going to end this part right here and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!